Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ella, and I would like to share with you today what the Lord has done for me. Last year, September 2015, I was in the Philippines for vacation. I felt stomach ache, so painful. It's like 10 times of painful as diarrhea. I drink warm water and my sister wrapped oil in my tummy. After 20 minutes of different position to lessen the pain, the pain was gone. So I disregarded I was thinking it was um, the food that I was eating at the When we came back here in Canada, I felt the same pain again. I still do the same. I drink water and wrap oil and then wash it in the washroom and it's gone, so I disregard it again. After three months, I noticed blood in my stool. I panicked. I went to see the doctor. After months and months of doctor's appointment, I undergo double contrast barium enema. That was June 13, 2016. The doctor said the result was the result will come out after three to five days. But according to him, the specialist called her right away. He was trembling and in a hurry. He talked to my doctor because the result is bad. The finding is uh, colon cancer. The doctor said that kind of cancer is very notorious in squidding. He said the test that he did is 95% so I have 5% hope. I should hold on to that. As human being, of course, I feel so down and discouraged. I can't even think. My mind cannot absorb it. I called Barry. I cannot drive back home. He called the members of the church, who is very supportive and prayerful. He even posted it on Facebook so that everybody can see and pray for me. But honestly, I was confused. I don't know what to pray. I am ready to be with him. I am happy and blessed that I know when I am going. But suddenly, I realize, Lord, I have some concern. I have a 11 year old daughter, and me and her only here in Canada. I know in this world we are just passing through. We are not in this world. We are in Him, our place in Him. But because of that, because of my daughter, I pray, I pray to God. I made a request. I said, Lord, please let me stay a little bit. Even 15 to 20 years, I'm okay. <laughs> We have to be specific with our prayer. There's nothing wrong with telling God what we want. But still we say, Lord, not my will, but your will be done. We have to remember this. His plan is greater than our plan. That day, that day June 14, MCC family gathered in our house. Pastor Wayne, Brother Paul, and Sister Jackie, Brother Andy, Sister Joy, Brother Elmer, Sister Luz, Sister Gina, Sister Marjorie, and Sister Chris, and Marami Kapuniba. Pastor Wayne shared this word. I would like to share it with you. This is the prayer of faith. This is from James 5, 13 to 16. I'm reading the NIV version. Is anyone among you in trouble? Let them pray. Is anyone happy? Let them sing songs of praise. Is anyone among you sick? Let them call. Let, let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. 
The prayer of righteous person is powerful and effective. What I learned here is when we pray, it is important that we have faith, clean our hearts, and forgive others. I remember Pastor Wayne said he wants to be a witness of God's glory. So we pray for healing. He is our Jehovah Rapha, our healer. Nothing is impossible to him. We just believe, have faith, always remember that faith is his we pray, we pray for forgiveness, provisions, deliverance, and healing. Pastor Wayne took the oil and asked everybody to dip their finger and wipe it to me while we are praying. In the middle of that prayer, I felt God is moving. He touched my heart. He touched everybody's heart. I felt peace, comfort, and I didn't sleep well that night. The next day, June 14, we went to the doctor again with Pastor Wayne, Sis Gina, and Barry to reconfirm it. Because my statement not clear, when I heard colon cancer, I was shocked. I did not ask questions. I don't know what stage, blah, blah, blah. So Barry will tell you later what the doctor really told him. I was scheduled for CT scan June 17. Once again, the Lord speak to me through His word. When we are on our way to the hospital, I opened my Bible. The Lord led me to Exodus 14, 13. Ito pong sabi niya. Do not be afraid. Stand firm. And you will be, you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptians you see today, you will never see again. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still inside. So clarify that the Lord said, do not be afraid. You just turn firm. We have to trust God and He will do the rest. Thanks God, the CT scan was done after one hour. The doctor said the result will come out within two weeks, but only two days he called me for appointment to explain the result. I am happy to say and to tell you it was a good news. God answered our prayers. From the very high stage to very low stage, He removed the spreading. That was the doctors afraid for the spreading because according to Him, that kind of cancer is very notorious. Once it gets there, it spread fast. But thanks God, He is great and powerful. In Him, truly nothing is impossible. Tomorrow is my colonoscopy. After this, the doctor will determine how they will remove that through surgery. He said, maybe or maybe not, I will be going for chemotherapy or radiation. I believe the Lord is not done. So, I am asking everyone to please pray for Him for complete healing. Glory to God for what He has done and what He is going to do. All praises belong to Him and to Him alone. Thank you, Lord, and thank you, MCC family, for your prayers. Thank you. Hello, church. Hello. And what a church this is. And I'll tell you why. A church. It's a group of Christians that come together to form a family. And we are most certainly a family. You people prayed for her. People in the Philippines are praying for her. All Christians, all come together to help one in need. There were thousands of people praying for her. Even her friends had called in to the 700 Club, which is a TV show for Christians. They were also Ella. The doctor turns out he's Christian. Ella was pretty devastated that first day when she called me, and when I went to get her, she was crying. She was completely upset. Didn't think to ask the questions that a person would ask. Understandably, of course. Um, so the next day, Pastor Wayne, Gina. 
myself and Ella went to the doctor. When we went into his office, the doctor was just a broken man, it seemed like he was sad. He, uh, he looked at us and he said, in my 18 years of this practice in this field, this is the most devastating I've seen. Of course, we're all nervous, you know, scared. We ask questions. Ella was under the impression that they were going to operate on him, and he said no. He said, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Right. So, of course, uh, we all left the doctor's office fearing the worst. And we had Pastor Wayne with us, and immediately we started asking for help from our church family. And you came together, you came to our home, you sent your prayers, you know, you were there. You were there for us. So, the CD scan, as Ella had said, was set for that night, pardon me, we did a meeting at our home, as Ella had stated. The CD scan was set for Friday. Less than two days later, they had the results after telling us that uh, uh, it was going to take two weeks. So we're scared. I mean, how do you get a CD scan so fast unless it's late? We had this healing soul. Pastor Wayne says it's gone. Ella says it's gone. Ella's strong. Her faith is unbelievable. 